Hi, I am Dr. Shashidhar. I am a consultant cardiologist and electrophysiologist with a special interest in heart failure. Presently, I am working in Fortis Hospital, Banagata Road. Heart failure is a condition where the heart muscle fails to pump enough blood to meet the demands of the body. Sometimes heart failure also can result because the heart chamber offers a, a increased resistance to the filling because it is stiff. Heart failure can result from various causes. One of the causes could be the damage to the heart muscle because of blockage of the blood supply, what we call coronary artery disease, which can result in a heart attack. But heart failure should not be confused with the heart attack because heart attack is only one of the causes of heart failure and there are other causes for heart failure as well. Like it could be the disease of the heart muscle itself where the blood supply is normal and it also can result because of the valve problems where the valves are usually direct the blood flow within the heart chamber. Either it is a leaking or it's a narrow valve can result in heart failure. And other cause could be the abnormal rhythms of the heart, either too fast or too slow heart rates in the long run can result in heart failure. Heart failure usually results in symptoms in form of uh, inability to do usual daily activities. The patients may complain of breathlessness on exercise. He may feel easily fatigued. He may complain of uh, swelling of the feet. And these are some of the symptoms of the heart failure. The management of the heart failure usually depends on identifying the cause of the heart failure. And whenever we identify a correctable cause and if that is addressed, the heart failure patients can get a lot of relief. But there are some conditions where there are no correctable causes can be found. In such cases, the patients can be managed with drugs and then devices in the form of pacemakers. Pacemakers can be used either to improve the pumping efficiency of the heart called cardiac resynchronization therapy or it could be used to abort the sudden cardiac death which is one of the risk factors of the heart failure called implantable cardioverter defibrillators. And in advanced refractory heart failures, surgeons can put a patient on a ventricular assist device which help the heart or which bypass the heart and pump the blood into the circulation. And the last resort could be a heart transplantation.